What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So we're going to take a quick look at the new Chromecast with Google TV. Now just off the bat I want to say that this was a device I was not at all excited about. I love my Nvidia Shield TV Pro. Still do. Still think it's the best box for streaming media and playing cloud gaming and all of that. But it's a $200 box and this new Chromecast is $50. Bucks. Um, this is a cheap cheap streaming device and cloud gaming device and for that that price to get in especially if you've already got an xbox controller or other bluetooth controller around that you can connect and you will need some type of bluetooth um keyboard and mouse or an android device that could act like one uh to the os there but other than that i mean you can do a lot with this just like you can the nvidia shield tv pro when it comes to certain things um the ui is really nice it's snappy. The Google Assistant works very well asking for things you want, and it looks nice. And also cloud gaming, especially for Stadia, because unfortunately the new Chromecast doesn't support Stadia right now. Um, but when you sideload it, surprisingly, albeit without HDR uh, working, it ran really, really good, and I'll show you Division 2 running when we get into it. So um, I'm just going to show you a quick little unboxing here. I also filmed a full setup guide, but it was so easy to do and set up. I decided that part was a waste, so we're just going to take a quick look at the unboxing. I'm going to show you the OS a little bit real quick. We'll talk about that, and then more importantly, we'll jump right into just... Um, launching three cloud gaming services, xCloud, GeForce Now, and Stadia. xCloud and Stadia being sideloaded. Um, and we'll take a look at those real quick. And you can see that the new Chromecast with Google TV is a great media streaming device, but also could be a great cloud gaming device as well. So let's go take a look at that unboxing, and then let's take a look at the other items and the cloud gaming. All right, so moving over here to the Chromecast device. This is a quick look at the, the UI on here. Now, honestly, it reminds me of a mix between Apple TV and Hulu TV in a way, the way they've got all this set up. And of course, it recommends everything to you for all the apps you're signed into and stuff like that. But just going across the tabs here real quick, you've got your live TV, your movies, um, your shows, and then the area for apps. And of course, you can also get into the Google Play Store, and then you've got library where you can sign into your Movies Anywhere account, and this will propagate all of your purchased movies in there for you from that account. I don't want to go too deep into the UI, but to do the steps you'll need to do to download the APKs, you're going to need to be able to install unknown apps, which means you're going to need to be in developer mode. And you're going to have to go into system about and go all the way down to the Android TV build. And you have to click on that seven times to enter developer mode. Then you'll be able to go back and select those unknown apps and install those. I use Downloader to get all of my APKs on here. There's other ways that you can do it, but this is how I did it. And I use their browser. I go up and I search for the APK that I want. In this case, we'll go grab Stadia really quick. And that for me, I will usually go to APK mirror. So I'll show you where I would normally go here to grab this APK up, APK mirror right here. So we'll click on that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to where they have all the versions. And here's our newest version right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there and we'll click on download for our Stadia APK. And we'll scroll down again. Now, sometimes it can take this browser a little while to load. Um, but just take your time here. Scroll down and look for the download APK button. And click on that and your download should come up. And once that download's done, you'll be able to install it. I'm not going to need to install Stadia. I've already got it on here along with xCloud. 
those two had to be side loaded. So I'll just cancel and delete mine so I don't take up space. But from right here, you could just click install and uh, that shouldn't be any problem for you. Now, if you go over here, you can see where your files are. So anytime you download anything, you can go in there and either reinstall it from there, or you can go in here and delete files to uh, open up space. There's not a lot of space on here. So the first thing we're gonna go and do is I'm gonna show you where the Game Pass app is for xCloud. Just like on Video Shield TV Pro, it won't show up in your apps. So you gotta go to settings and you're gonna have to go to all apps. And that's where you'll see the Game Pass app. There's Android apps that can make shortcuts for you, but uh, this is where that app is hiding. So we're actually going to go ahead and start with Game Pass. I had it opened already, so it'll be really quick. And just jump into Batman. I've had good luck with this game on xCloud. Now, your experience can be very hit or miss. One, this is sideloaded. And two, I've just had a lot of hit and miss experience with xCloud so far anyway, between audio issues, video issues, dropping out connection completely um, on NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, on this Chromecast, and on other devices. Just really mixed bag with xCloud, but at least you can sideload it onto here, and it does run. There's been times I've had the game run really well, but there's been times I've had a lot of issues, so uh, you'll just have to let me know in those comments if this is uh, something that works good for you for xCloud or not. And you can hear some of the audio issues probably uh, with that. Usually they'll go away once I'm into a game, but uh, yeah, strange, strange stuff with xCloud, but of course it's not really on a supported device here either. Hopefully we'll get some updates in the future. And xCloud, of course, is a not so much a standalone cloud service as much as it is something they give to you for having Game Pass. And it's just kind of their, their entry into cloud. But it'll get much better as we go. So just going ahead and launching into a little piece of Batman here. I'll just show you a couple little areas real quick. I'll, uh, I'll cut through some spots. You can just see see the game running here but let me know how xcloud works for you if you sideload it onto the chromecast or if you have it on your shield tv or anything um let me know how that's working for you or maybe you have some tips or tricks you might want to share in the comments below so you can see everything is running pretty good um I didn't lose any connection during this particular session, but I did lose connection a couple times earlier uh, trying to get some of the gameplay, and then for some reason it started working again. So, um, like I said, it can be very hit and miss. I'm definitely not guaranteeing that all of this is going to work for you, but I was able to hop around the city and do a few things. Like I said, I only had a couple disconnections earlier. Still a lot of audio popping and issues, though. All right, I don't want to stay in the games too long, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. We're just going to jump into GeForce Now, the only app that's actually supported here that you can download from the Google Play Store. Now, oddly enough, I did have a few disconnections and issues with this as well, but then I got Assassin's Creed Odyssey working and was able to mess with that for a few minutes. Uh, so I'll be messing with that a little bit more. Again, let me know what your experience is like with GeForce Now, either on the Shield TV or on this Chromecast, especially if you have this Chromecast and you've been running it. I want to know how this is working for you on here. There are a few bugs with this Chromecast, and I think that might be what's going on with a lot of these cloud streams where we all lose connection. So I'll go ahead and let the game load up here, and then I'll, I'll edit, cut us past a few scenes, and we'll just jump right in here. So what I'm going to do is just bring up a new game. I'll let the cutscene start, and I'll jump us into the first bit of battle they have for you there. And then we're going to move on to Stadia, which... Happens to be the one that works the best on here, even though it's side-loaded, but uh, we'll get to that. Again, similar audio issues with GeForce Now on here as I had with uh, xCloud uh, on here. And this isn't even side-loaded. This is a supported app, so I'm not 100% sure what was going on there.
All right, let's go ahead and get moved over to Stadia. And like I said, Stadia, even though it's side loaded um, and HDR doesn't work here, um, it worked the best out of the three. Uh, I didn't have any disconnections at all. Uh, once I was into a game, it was smooth, no latency issues, no audio issues. It seemed to definitely work the best. So hopefully they'll have no trouble supporting Stadia on here in the future because it does seem to run really good, even side loaded here for me. Let me know your experience if you've put Stadia on your new Chromecast and how that's working for you. I've always had really good luck with the Chromecast Ultra and Stadia, so um, love to see official support come to this Chromecast. So I just want to show you here, we'll click continue. Um, this isn't something special to the Chromecast, but Stadia launches and loads up the Division 2 really qu quickly. And uh, the Division 2 is actually a good game for Stadia with the cross saving and uh, it has really good performance. So well, here we go. Um, Division 2 on Stadia, side loaded on the new Chromecast, Google TV. And like I said, Stadia was definitely the best experience. I'll just let you watch this here for a minute and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. The new Google Chromecast, Google TV. Uh, we've got a little look at the UI there, the settings, and uh, some uh, side loading and some uh, cloud services running here. We've got GeForce Now, xCloud, and Stadia, and definitely Stadia working the best on here. So thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop new videos. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.